Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Fatheads Brewery. This is their Oompa Loompa or Oompa Loompa. This is their chocolate cream stout coming in at 6.5%. And this was sent to me by Dave and Danny. Thanks guys for sending that beer, great big beer mail package uh, the other day. Uh, some of the beers uh, that I got in there I have reviewed. He sent me a couple of the Chill Waves. Uh, they're just a little past their prime, so uh, I'm going to be sipping on those if I haven't already by the time you've seen this. Uh, pretty quick, because uh, they had an enjoy by date of like 514, and we're into June already. So they're probably three or three and a half, maybe even four months old by now. So I did enjoy uh, doing that beer review when I did that, but uh, these are a little past their prime, so I'm going to be sipping on them pretty quick if I haven't done it already. So. Dave, Danny, I appreciate you sending those to me. Uh, this is uh, Fathead's Brewery. I, I had a, a subscriber send me a couple of their beers uh, not too long ago, and uh, I did enjoy both of them uh, that I had uh, that they sent me. And I haven't had this one, so Dave, Danny, thanks again for sending me this one. Uh, I enjoyed both of those tremendously, so I'm looking forward to good things from this one. Uh, commercial description on this beer says, Oompa Loompa Chocolate Cream Style is the golden ticket to the luscious indulgence brewed in small batches of Belgian dark chocolate and uh, Madagascar vanilla beans to yield giant aromas and flavors of dark chocolate, roasted malt, caramel, and vanilla with a creamy mouthfeel, bittersweet finish. All other stouts seem dwarfed by comparison. This one is whimsical, <laughs> snotch wanger, Concoction. <laughs> That's hard for me to say. Snosh, Snosh Wanger Concoction. So, I can't get their beers here. They're out of uh, North Olmstead, Ohio. And they don't ship their beers down here to Virginia. Well, uh, at least not what I have seen anyway. So, uh, I do appreciate it, guys. Uh, when uh, subscribers like Danny and, and Dave send stuff like this to me that I can't get my hands on. So, I do appreciate it guys, thanks very much. Alright, let's go over to the food pairings on this one. The food pairings on this one, Cuisine is barbecued, cheese are buddy, buttery, brie, gouda, havarti, swiss, your earthy cheeses, camembert, fontina, and since it is a cream stout or a stout, uh, it goes with, the, with your chocolate dishes. And the uh, meat for this is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass bars, pint, becker, non tumbled mugs, side to side out. Instead of bringing out the uh, stein, uh, stein, the pint glass for this, I decided to go ahead and bring out the double glass for this one since I like these dark beers in this type of glass to enhance the aromas quite a bit. And it's not recommended for extended cellarings, and this thing is sweating profusely. It's been rather humid here, so that's a reason why it's been up in the 80s and getting close to 90s by now. Nice hiss. On this bottle. I love the caps with that big fat head on there because I got a fat head myself. And let's get this thing into the glass and see what we got. This beer is not recommended for extended cellaring. Oh, look at that head. Aggressive pour down the center. Gives us at least a two finger of head. Look at that. Almost looks like it's got a yogurt on top of the beer. Over to the light. There is none. It is pitch black, guys. Very reminiscent of what a stout should look like. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. 
toffee, some candy sugar, maybe a hint of some dark fruit in there. But the chocolate and the roasted malt is is present big time. Oh wow. And being a cream style, it should have a real creamy, nice mouthfeel on this. It smells wonderful in the glass. Let's give it a, a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, Danny. Thank you, sirs. I do appreciate it. Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. Nice bittersweet chocolate. Nice creamy mouth. Almost like it's got some some wheat or, or something in there to give it that creamy. Almost reminds me of a nitro beer, but it's not. Oh man, that's good. With six. I think it's 6.6, 6.5, 6 6.5% ABV, very well made beer, I'm not getting any alcohol on the taste, <coughs> unlike yesterday's beer, beer review 1400, 15.2% on the old stock brandy barrel aged beer, this is very easy drinking for a 6.5 percenter. The roasted malt. And the chocolate is really present in the nose. But in the mouthfeel, it tastes very balanced. The, the bittersweet chocolate is there. The caramel and the toffee and the roasted malt is definitely present in this beer. Leaving a very nice lacing on the glass. Wow. Very tasty. Final beer of the evening, more than likely. I usually finish up the evening with these dark beers like this. Wow. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. And it's right out of the fridge, too. It's 40 degrees, and the humidity is up in the 60s, if not 70%. That's why it's sweating profusely here on the bottle. And I'm not quite sweating profusely, but I'm getting there. So we'll take this back and let her sip on it just a tad or two. And we'll come back and do the final chug on this one. But I've not been disappointed from anything from Fathead's Brewery. So they got it going on up there. They know what they're doing. Very well made beer, guys. So stick around. I'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this one. Looks like a winner. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. i got just a little left. i sip on this probably about 30 minutes or so. Oh, a very delicious stout. Very delicious cream stout. Final chug. Wow. Delicious. The only fuss I have about these guys, and I've looked, and I don't see any kind of dating on here, not even a year. This is a 6.5% and it's not going to go bad real quick, but I would like to see them put some kind of dating on, on the bottle. And it's probably got, you know, it says bottled on. Let me see if I can read. Bottled on. Looks like, looks like it says 04-14-13. So, uh, this beer is about a year old. And uh, they've got it on there, but it's very smudged. I mean, it's uh, very hard to read. But Danny and Dave, I thank you for sending these beers to me. Uh, this was good. Uh, I enjoyed this, but I got a feeling it would probably be a little more intense <laughs> about a year ago. So, with that being said, uh, I would give this probably, I'd probably give this an eight, which is an A minus. Uh, very tasty, but I would like to have something like this fresh in the bottle and not something that's quite quite this old. But I did appreciate uh, them sending it to me. I got to try it anyway, and uh, I liked it. Uh, it would probably get uh, a better score if it was a little fresher in the bottle. So, With that being said, let's go see what everybody else thinks. 
we'll go over to Bear Advocate. Bear Advocate says 84. And that number is a little conservative as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if I was putting a numeric rating on this, it'd probably be between a 90, uh, an 89 and a 91 right now. So probably a little more intense, fresh in the bottle than what I've got here. But it was definitely enjoyable. I consider it an A beer. I didn't get any alcohol on a 6.5%. Nice bittersweet chocolate. Nice creamy mouthfeel. A little bit of toffee caramel and, and, and dark chocolate. Just a hint of, uh, of uh, dark fruit in this one, but uh, like I said, probably be a little bit pr better uh, fresh in the bottle. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 92 overall and 87 in the style. Pretty close to what I would say between 80, 89 and 91. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it, guys. Uh, Danny, Dave, thanks for sending this one to me. I did enjoy it. I do think it's an A beer. So if you can get Fat Hats Brewery beers, this is their Oompa Loompa chocolate cream stout. Let me know what you think of it. Guys, let's take that walk and see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.